show you guys how we do it. Okay. Light tackle in the bay. here in the middle of the channel trying to mark some fish before we get set up we want to make sure uh, we're not in a desert and we're showing signs of life on the graph you see the temperature and the depth of the water it's uh, the end of July uh, this year in San Francisco Bay it's a little colder than normal we'll, we'll see what we can do Explain to the crowd what we're doing today, Steve. Well, we're out here for a little bit of leopard shark fishing. And uh, of course we're fishing light tackle. Makes the action a little bit better, light tackle. But uh, we've got a still cable leader here going on. Eight ounce sinker with a slider. And this slimy critter right here is called a midshipman. We can call that a leopard shark cocktail. Watch the action and see what happens when this thing starts to swing. So Keith, is there any specific uh, details like liter length, uh, pound cable we should use, what size hooks? I like to use the 90 weight cable. It's uh, a little thicker and seems to hang a little straighter. The way we're hooking these midshipmen, sometimes they have a tendency to spin, and your thinner cables can end up bunching up on you, twisting. And this 90 weight seems to be a little thicker, and it won't twist up, and it doesn't seem to uh, mess with the sharks. They don't seem to care what size lead. I've used 200 pound lead out here before, and it works fine. Just fine. Midshipmen, gonna stop. Well, we got good action down there. We got a lot of fish down there, man. You see that? Just gotta get picked up. But that stops, uh, that stops. As soon as this that. tide slows down, yeah. those big arches are going to be hanging out down by the bottom. That's when the magic hour is going to happen. That stops all that, uh, heat. Steve just hooked one up. Feel like a decent fish, Steve? Been here about 15 minutes. Fish of the day up to the side of the boat. Let's we'll see what he's gonna do. Look with me. Nice leopard. <laughs> Hole in the net. That's how they do. You see why we're using this light tackle. It's a uh,
make it a challenge. These medium sized sharks are mixed in with the big ones. Oh yeah. The little ones are gone, the big ones are around. Knocked your bait up the line, get to reuse it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna pull them over into you. Uh-uh. Here we go on fish number two. Been here half an hour. Sean. Oh yeah. Oh my god, no, I did not miss that fish. Let me come here, buddy. Keep him That's fish number two, y'all. Keith Washington with the second fish of the day put us on the spot. We've been here 20 minutes and uh oh, yeah, you know there we go with another fish. Right there. He's gotta go over top of me. Get the video, keep it going, man. I got it. That's how we do it. It's number two in the boat. He's there. Sticking. That's number three, baby. Oh, yeah. See how that light tackle be, man? Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. Hook your other rod up. You think so? Yeah, man. Better with the light tractor. Huh? Stay out there. It's a nice one. You don't want to come home. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, kid! You don't want to come home. Prime time sport fishing. Back in love with you. This is how we do it out here. Just out here scouting for our clients we can bring you guys to a hot bite that's what we do for practice y'all oh yeah look at that rod get that rod bending baby get all that footage man stand up high up there if you can get on the side and get all that Do it on help you fish hooked up sport fishing out here with Keith Washington on prime time. There you go. Thanks for showing us how you do it, Keith. Just trying to spread the love. <laughs> <laughs>
There it is. There it is there. We we'll keep bringing it to you guys live and direct. The only show going out the San Francisco Bay. Help you fish and that's what we're going to keep helping you do. My shark looks almost bigger than you, Steve. That's a fat one. That's a male, right? When it has the uh, two two, things out, two the things out the bottom, that's a male. You see, you see, that's how you can tell it's a male, y'all. You see a shark, it's its uh, testicles right there. So, you know, if your testicles look like that and you're not a shark, go see a doctor. <laughs> I told you how that little pecking. Yeah. Got a little small seven gill on here. Baby. Little baby seven gill. They often peck like that, you know. This is the one that gets nine, ten feet long out here, guys. You see how big that mouth is on him. You see those gnarly green eyes. Let you know he's a creature from the depths of the bay. Often when we're out here shark fishing, we have a seven gill, a soup fin, and the leopard sharks. When the seven gill hit, often they, they peck on it sort of kind of pumping it like a sturgeon would. Um, our leopard sharks out here in the Sufin pretty much will take your line and they'll just peel it and run with it. But for the most part, uh, the seven gills are your much larger fish. Your Sufins get pretty big too. These are the guys with teeth. And this is just a baby. Just a baby. This is what we're looking for. This is exactly what we're out here hunting right now. We're gonna keep working on it. We're trying to go big. Go big or go home. Tell him, Keith. Go big or go home. Catch and release, that's what we do. He's going home. <laughs> All right, let's get these rods back out there. deep water that's what you're telling me just because yeah. I've been broke off more than once now using braid on the hook set but boy that's because you can't set the hook that hard on braid braid has no stretch to it so all you have to do is just give it a light tug right. you don't have to you don't have to set it really hard like you do when it's monofilament monofilament yeah. got that stretch to it so you can do that you know you start getting used to swinging for the fences on the hook set and that doesn't work so well on the braid no, it does. Especially with a stiffer rod. You'll bust him off every time if you try to set the hook too hard with the uh, braid, you know. Oh, man, that was a good one. Just a few tips from Help You Fish. Infamous Keith Washington out here with us. 
infamous. And if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Is it? I didn't even see it. Look at him. Too much. Look at him. Look at him. Look what's hanging out of his mouth. Midshipman. This is the puke that came about of the dang shark. This he had is both of these, both of these in his mouth at the same time, greedy. along with the crab. Greedy. With the crab. Greedy is the word, huh? Just greedy. <laughs> wow. Right now, I had to get this log out and everything. We're out here on a trip right now, uh, fishing, and I was, yeah. So we just had our doubles. Yeah. We're going for three on deck and, uh, right now. Just got a nice run. We're out here shark fishing. I'll take a picture for you and send you some before you throw them back in. I'll take a couple pictures and send you. Let's go, baby. Alright, I will. But anyway, let me give you the huh? Uh you want me to send it to your phone. Okay. Okay. So let me give you this address real quick before we throw them throw these things back in the water. Uh, Go ahead and tie them all up. Yeah. The address is uh, 4538. Yeah, I do. That's a good fish. Okay, I will. I'll send it to you with the picture. About to put and, uh, we are making a check out to uh, Stephen Mitchell. I'm Anthony the Plumber, help you fish out here with Hooked Up Sport Fishing, Captain Steve Mitchell and my good friend Keith Washington, prime time. This is how we do it, we're about to put number three on the okay, deck for you. We're making it out to Stephen Mitchell and I'm going to give you the address to uh, where you're going to mail it to and, and the text and everything. And that's Out here you use a midshipman. The date, the date the of the trip. Estuary, how many people? So how many people Entrance. did you end up with? Just the in San Francisco Bay. Okay, it's so end it's of July. Five. five people besides yourself. It's an exciting time for everybody. Okay, so you're you're gonna you come you're gonna check pay it out for the four, and it'd be yourself Two that fish. was going yourself that was going for uh, for free, right? Good one. A fifth person, another person. A Got him on the trailer. Person. Okay, well that's fine. That's all good. And that'll be even better if you can come up with that fifth person. So therefore, uh, yeah, okay. So I got you for uh, Saturday, September first, and uh, just throw them in the glove box. You see what we're doing out here, you guys? You want to come be a part of this? Just uh, go to, to go back in the water? hookedupsportfishing.com or okay. helpyoufish.net and uh, we're going to get you on these I, fish. You know, I, I just was sharing a little knowledge, you know, and um, I just, you know, I just kind of like the way that back hook just seemed to like, you know. It definitely took the finicky bite factor away. It definitely sticks off in the fish, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Cap Captain Steve invented the trailer hook. When in Rome, do what the Romans do. Do as the Romans. Help you fish. This Hooked is what happens. Sport fishing, prime time. With a D. <laughs> out here doing it. This is what happens when we get out here on these fish. The proof is definitely in the pictures. You guys interested in some of this? Prime time sport fishing. Here's the man. We're on his boat. Proof is in the pudding. That's right. My favorite.
favorite flavor. Lock it up, <laughs> lock it up, lock it up. You feel okay? Yeah, Nice yeah, side? Yeah. All right, all right, that's what's up. Hello? Okay. So yeah, what we do, what we're doing, uh, we run a potluck and we can get a number of different species of fish. All While Steve's booking a trip, of, I mean, what time of the we're time over here demonstrating leopard shark fish in the San Francisco uh, Bay. Uh, like snapper and it, stuff like it's that. It's been really good today. Captain Keith Washington with Primetime knows what he's doing. There you go. Primetime sport fishing. 707. 849-8542. Uh, okay. if, if you want to charter the whole boat, I suggest you give them a call. Uh, it would be like 850 to charter the whole entire boat. And that means little, nobody little else leopard. gets on but you guys. Fish. You and your, your, uh, your whole group, six people. But if not, if Another fish bite going on. Stuck that one. I bet he got that up in him good. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a great time out on prime time. You guys should come out and try this for yourselves. Teeth them a little short. And they do get at least twice, if not three times that big. I'll take that rusty. Another one over the rail. That's hooked. It's wrapped, it's wrapped. There you go. All right. This is what we're out here after. Step back a little bit, guys. Just get, get, get a little closer together. This is what we're after out here. There you go. We got prime time. Mr. Keith over here. We got Mr. Anthony over here, the plumber. Welcome to the bay. <laughs> Let them know what we out here to do, fellas. That's how we do it. Catch and release, as you can see. Right line is doing something, man. 
<laughs> I think it's that that uh, high this is doing this to us over here because that joker's on fire, man. <laughs> man, it is. No, I just keep recording the same scene over and over. <laughs> <laughs> Tip for the day: Offshore Angler, the new affordable, durable line that we recommend. Just ask Team Help You Fish, Captain Steve. It works. works. Keith Washington. Offshore angler. It's all about learning. This is what it's all about out here with help you fish. We try to make a few things happen. We try to learn from one another. Get out get our clients out here and everything and show you guys a little bit of how we like to uh, fish and you know help you step your game up a little bit. That's the whole purpose of helping fish. You got prime time sport fishing right here. You got hooked up sport fishing right here. You got help you fish, which is the help you fish team. Bam. And, uh, we're going to continue to keep bringing on the hook action your direction. So stay tuned. Please subscribe. Show your support. All the quits for the day. It's only 2.30 in the afternoon, you guys. Uh, we came out and caught about 20 sharks. From about 9 o'clock to uh, 2 o'clock, the bite was, was pretty consistent. And uh, we came out and whooped them, and now we're uh, calling it a day. So that's how we do it. And if you want to come out and be a part of it too, get in touch with us. And, HookedUpSportFishing.com That's H-O-O-K-D Or HelpYouFish.net And we'll get you in touch with one of our Top-notch sport fishing captains Out of the San Francisco Bay